Hi guys, hello fellow collectors out there of Hot Toys. Uh, I'm going to do this review based on the fact that when I've done the unboxing, I sort of made a small review on this, but I think that it needed a, a longer view, review, sorry, based on the fact that uh, it is an awesome figure and I want to sort of pass it as a Hot Toy because I think the standard of the head sculpt, the costume, the, the stand, makes it out as being a hot toy F i mean the, the price i paid for this was just unbelievable you know i think that the standard it is you know when you look at one six scale figures nowadays in the fact that you know when you look at hot toys or sideshow even anybody for that fact you know they some of the time they come out with some awesome figures you know and uh but this one is done by art figures uh i don't think the company's actually been going that long and uh, I wanted to, I, I searched around on eBay and obviously we all searched on eBay basically for the fact that, you know, we get these uh, nice bargains on hot toys and maybe seeing some good prices for hot toys and that. Some of them can be expensive, but it depends how rare the figure is. But I wanted to do this review because it deserved a longer review and I like the film. It wasn't the greatest film for, for the fact for the plot and the story surrounding the film but I just like the action I think the action was brilliant I thought the leading actor who played the character in this film was just awesome I'm talking about the Punisher uh, Punisher Warzone uh, with Ray Stevenson and I just as I say I like the film based on the action I think it was so gory it was it was pretty violent actually I mean some of the scenes you see is like neck snapping uh, heads blown off, leg limbs blown off, and it was just really, really funny. I mean, some of it was a bit too violent, and uh, but as I say, the storyline it wasn't great. But then again, s some stories haven't got a great story or plot, but you just go on it based on the action or based on uh, other things as well. So here we go with the stand. Now, the weight of the stand is pretty light. It's not the heaviest of stands. Uh, but it sort of shows how different it can be from a stand from a hot toy. Now a hot toy stand obviously has the name and then on top of the top of the stand plate it's got the uh, from what the film's called and which is good but uh, when it comes to a much more of a stand I, I expect the hot toy stands being that it's 2011 now to make it much more better like a light up feature or, or just something different in the fact that it, from a film and this one just sort of stands out because it's got hot broken bricks on here and it, you know it's got that gravel gr uh, gravel effect and it's a nice paint application on there uh, especially with the bricks like the way it's been painted in so they look sort of broke and and, it, and it's like nice shade of dark orange uh, and around the back there you've got like a plinth like sort of where you can stealth to hide around to uh, shoot his victims or whatever. Uh, down to the shoes, the shoes are nicely detailed. The laces that you see on the boots, if I can get close into there, are actually real. They're actually real laces, so it's quite nice. The tips of the boots, they're very weathered. They've got like a dirty scratch mark to them. Uh, up to the trousers, the combat trousers, very nice. Uh, on each side they've got two pockets, deep pockets. Uh, the flaps do open on the pockets, uh, which is quite good. They've got like a Velcro onto them. At the side there, you've got the knife with the uh, knife holster there, and then you've got, you've got two straps that strap around the leg, which is good. The knife is actually, the point of it is quite quite pointy and sharp, uh, but it's like a, I think it's, it's, it's a plastic knife, uh, the blade, so, which is quite good though, because you know, it's uh, it's quite a quite a sharp tip anyway. Uh, on the other side of the leg, you have the first pistol, which is pretty smart. Uh, you can take the magazine out of the bottom, and the gun holster is actually scratched, and the and it's actually worn out. It's actually weathered as well, so that's quite good. And then you have a magazine from the uh, from the rifle that you'll see at the back, and there's the holster for that. Again, there's the other pistol. A silver one. The the paint job on the on this pistol is pretty good. Nice like metallic silver on there. 
very, uh, again, the gun the gun holster is very uh, worn out, very weathered. The, the the jumper and the the fingerless gloves are actually real cotton, which is which is very smart. And then near the uh, and then we have the other pistol. So basically, it comes with three pistols, one knife. And uh, there's the other silver one, which is, uh, but you need the tweezers on this guys to actually fit through around onto the uh, the, ch the chest armour and stuff. There's uh, some magazines in two pouches there, which is pretty good. And then the, uh, the chest bit itself, the skull, uh, I've actually painted in, well not painted in, but drawn in with a marker, black marker, the eyes a bit more. and you had to add in the nostrils as well there's a bit there's a bit of light and then i've just coded in the three stripes there to make it even more better because when you get it it's not really that good so you have to sort of make adjustments to that and then the neck piece what you do is you get two you get two bits there so they they clip onto there and then the neck piece from that bit is connected together but you get a separate piece at the back so then you get the then if you can hear it you get velcro bits so you stick them onto there like that so the the chest piece is really good nicely detailed I think the skull looks much better than what I've done to it now and then if you turn it around to the back there is his rifle and I have to say it's perfectly detailed it certainly stands out as being a hot toy sort of in the way of the detail uh, there's, this, there's the look of the lens looking down at the gun you know, there's the, you know, the barrel of it, and it's really smart. You know, and the and the figure's actually tall. Actually, it's 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 roughly it's taller than a twelve inch figure, uh, but obviously it's it's on the stand, and uh, I just I just think the figure I just think the figure's amazing. Uh, let's go on to the likeness if I can get good light. Ray Stevenson, who played the Punisher in Warzone, now. I can't really get good light, but if you see from the pit from that, that you see the uh, under the eyes, the cheekbones. I mean, if you look there, the cheekbones. You know the the sick the uh, sculpted slip back hair there. You know it's really cool. The frow lines on the uh, on the forehead. You know it's just a really good expression on his face. If I can get there, you go. I mean the the paint the paint apps on this on this head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. You really should see it in hand. I mean I've got it for a good price. I mean I'm going to cuss here a bit and a bit swear, but he looks really pissed off by that expression. He looks really look like you you really don't want to piss about with him. Uh, I like the way it's like you got sort of bags under his eyes, and it's sort of like the chin. It's got dip deep into it. You know it's got like a you know the expression just really is brilliant. You know, and uh, the the faded beard sort of thing, and the, and the moustache. It's really sort of. I mean, it's really good. I mean, I'm passing this as really a hot toy standard head sculpt, and even the costume for that fact as well. And it stands snugly onto the stand as well. So I'm really gonna have to rate this really highly. As I say, it's really it really steps the mark up on. When you see other like uh, companies, I mean, we all know that Hot Toys do an awesome job, and we and you know awesome and Enterbay as well. But when you take into account when you look at these other companies that do one six scale figures, maybe you know kit bash it up or you know when it works on you know head sculpts and stuff, they really make a good job. And for the price you pay for some of these figures, it's just it's just remarkable. And uh, it was just a pleasure to get a figure like this because I like the, f as I say, I like the film a lot. I think you know the person, uh, called obviously Ray Stevenson plays a good, good Punisher, and uh, I do recommend this figure. To be honest, I think you, I think you fellow collectors, you know who you are, uh, who are good friends to me, who you know I, I watch their channels and stuff like that, and they watch my channels because I like sharing this hobby. And uh, you know, as I'm a big collector, the same as you, I think this is a, a one for you guys to collect. I think it's a fantastic figure, and uh, 
that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, take care now.